If you're like me, Christmas time is that time of year to watch all those great Christmas movies. And one of my favorites is White Christmas. And that's what brings me to the cemetery outside of Modesto, California. White Christmas was released in 1954 and remains an endearing American film classic. It starred Bing Crosby, Danny Kaye, Rosemary Clooney, Vera Allen, and Dean Jagger. Jagger portrays retired World War II General Tom Waverly, who feels forgotten and unfulfilled as a Vermont innkeeper and owner. Wallace and Davis, former soldiers under his command, rally all the troops for a show of support. Years ago, and purely by accident, I learned that Dean Jagger is buried in the cemetery not far from where I live in Central California. I'm headed there right now. I'm off to visit Lakewood Memorial Park between Houston and Modesto, California, to not only find Jagger's grave, but the graves of two other famous people. This cemetery, which is sandwiched between a river, a cow pasture, and almond orchards, is an unlikely place to find celebrity graves, but you just gotta know where to look. A couple of rows up here is the grave of Florence Thompson. You probably have never heard of her, but you know her face. One of the most famous images from the Great Depression was taken in 1936. It's known as the Migrant Mother. It was a photograph that Farm Security Administration photographer Dorothy Lang took when she was outside of Napomo, California, and she stumbled upon a migrant camp where everybody was out of work. The pea crops were frozen. She found this destitute looking mother who was nursing her child with small girls around her. The scene was so incredibly heartbreaking that Dorothy Lang started walking towards Florence Thompson and started intruding on her personal space. She did it in a tasteful way, so Mrs. Thompson didn't mind. But as she went in and took the series of photographs, the last photograph became known as the Migrant Mother. It is an iconic view of the Great Depression. That dramatic photograph served as a catalyst for the federal government to actually do something for the starving people of America during the Great Depression. The stock market crash and resulting Great Depression caused the average American household income to drop by 40%. Many jobs were lost and millions suddenly were out of work. Compounding the problem in the Midwest were drought-caused dust storms that carried away topsoils and the livelihood of farmers in states like Oklahoma and Kansas. Millions left the Midwest to journey to California in search of work. However, Florence Thompson, contrary to public opinion, came to California way before the Dust Bowl. Because she had a poor education, Florence Hill Thompson was always struggling financially, but she found work as a cook and a cannery worker until her retirement. She never fully embraced her identity as the migrant mother and spent her final years living in a South Modesto trailer park. When she developed cancer, she convalesced at her son Troy's house. Florence Thompson died in 1983 in Santa Cruz. During the 1980s, I became acquainted with Ruby Sprague, one of the daughters in the famous photo. She is the one facing away from the camera, sporting a bowl cut and clinging to her mother on the left side of the photo. The migrant mother became such an iconic image that it was included on a 1998 U.S. postage stamp. In this Jewish part of the cemetery are the remains of Chandra Levy. It was her disappearance and ultimately proved death that uh, led to the demise of Congressman Gary Condit in one of the nation's biggest scandals. Police never publicly called Condit a suspect in the disappearance, but Condit's perceived evasiveness about his relationship with the missing intern and his disastrous performance in the Connie Chung interview eroded his political support back home. Did you cause anyone to harm her? No. Did you kill Chandra Levy? I did not. He was defeated for re-election because of the scandal. Two months after Condit lost his re-election bid in March 2002, Levy's decomposed remains were found in Rock Creek Park outside of Washington, D.C. I understand that the grave is not marked for privacy reasons, but this is the area in which she's buried. If 
you're like me, Christmas time is that time of year to watch all those great Christmas movies. And one of my favorites is White Christmas. As is most typical, like having difficulty finding his grave. You know my pattern. I did find the grave of Ira Dean Jagger. General Waverly. Sir, at ease. You might be asking yourself, how did a Hollywood star, how a Hollywood legend who has his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, how did he end up buried in Modesto, California? The short answer is, his wife. In 1968, Dean Jagger married a dance teacher from Modesto, California. Her name was Etta Mae Norton. She was a Oakdale High School graduate. I went to the same high school. They had family in the Oakdale area and they came back to visit often. In fact, I found in one of the local papers a story about Mr. Jagger and Mrs. Jagger visiting her family there in Oakdale. I think one of the really cool things about his headstone is that he has these, the tragic and the happy mass that represents drama. Unfortunately, the birds don't have any respect for a Hollywood actor and they've got it crapped all over his headstone. And I never saw anything look so wonderful in my whole life. Dean Jagger was born in Lima, Ohio in 1903 and grew up on a farm there. At age 17, he became a school teacher before heading off to Chicago to study drama. Dean started out on stage and performed vaudeville. In 1934, he signed with Paramount Studios. In 1940, his big break came with the role of Brigham Young in the movie by the same title. Soon, Jagger found himself on the silver screen with the likes of Randolph Scott and such films as Western Union. Best thing I can do is quit and clear out. That's nonsense, Shaw. You can't be held responsible for something like this. Besides, I need you. The boss. In 1941, he found himself playing opposite Loretta Young in the film The Men in Her Life. In 1949, he won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in Henry King's 12 O'Clock High. He also played a scientist in the sci-fi movie X the Unknown in 1956. Not very pretty, is it? No, it isn't. In 1971, I was 10 years old and loved watching The Partridge Family. Ironically, Dean Jagger played in the show's very first Christmas episode, playing an old prospector in an old ghost town where they broke down with their psychedelic bus. Other noteworthy people are buried in Lakewood. George and Dorothy Lucas, the parents of Star Wars creator George Lucas, are buried here. Michael Prokes, who survived the 1978 Jonestown Massacre in Guyana and who called a press conference at a Modesto motel the following year only to kill himself in the bathroom, rests in Lakewood. Andrew Toady, creator of the so-called Mae West flotation device, which saved thousands of downed military pilots during World War II, is buried here. One can only speculate how different history would have been had Toady not created the very device that saved George H.W. Bush when he was shot down over the Pacific Ocean in 1944. I really appreciate you tuning in to my program. You all have a great Christmas. And hot.